been a long time since I've ever made a video, like a proper video like this, where I'm talking behind the camera. And one thing I've always wanted to do um, since the start of my channel was to make food again. Because <laughs> I think I remember I made a video um, a few years ago, and people have been asking me to make more food since then. So I decided to do what everyone has told me to do and make some more food videos. Just because I'm nearly four years too late doesn't mean we can't start now since we're all in lockdown. I'm in my own room by myself, living by myself, um, isolating by myself, and I don't know how many times I can just talk to the wall because the wall is starting to have a conversation and the wall is starting to talk back against me and get annoyed with me. So I have no idea what else to do now. So I'm going to be able to make something for you guys. What should I be making for you guys today? I made a burger. Um, I don't know what else I've made because like I said, the, last, the first and last cooking video I made was four years ago. So today I'm going to go bring it back to basics. Basics. Back to when our ancestors were cavemen and cavewomen. Back when bushes weren't shaved, back when grunting was all the fad right there. So we're going back to basics and I'm going to make bread. I have no idea how to make bread. Uh, I would know if I just have an internet, but I'm going to use ingredients I can find uh, in my local dairy. I'm going to be unable to film at the dairy since, of course, isolation has a get in, get out quick rule. So I think my dairy owner would not be happy with me filming, but I'm going to find all the ingredients that I can find from what I know um, is to make bread. What do I think bread needs? Uh, water, which I have. Yeast, yeast, because I want to make bread that rises. And flour, flour, that's a big one. So I have no idea what flour to get. I have no idea what yeast I'm going to be able to find in my dairy. I don't know if they'll be able to cater towards yeast, but we'll see what there is to do with that. So this is really testing my knowledge on how to make bread. And I'm a little bit stumped on how to make bread. Um, the only time that I've ever made bread, personally, was back in the days of RuneScape, back on Tutorial Island. Um, but other than that, I don't think that flour, water, and an oven makes bread. Unless it does, then this will probably go easier than expected. So let's just stop yappering and let's get into it. I'm going to do what all those famous YouTuber guys do. You know when they go like this, like... So now we're back. There's only a few ingredients I could find because we only had a space of uh, about two minutes to shop for it in the dairy. But with that being said, I think that I may have grabbed the wrong ingredients. But bear with me, I was thinking in my mind this may work. But we'll just take a look. So here are the ingredients that I have for you guys today. So here are the ingredients for today. So that's the flour that the bag comes in now because... Um, quarantine things but I hope that this idea will work so this is a live culture tea aka kombucha uh, apparently this has yeast in it I think or some sort of thing within it um, it has zero calories nearly I think or 29 calories somewhere near that uh, live cultures that's the thing that says they're live cultures I'm hoping that's the same as yeast um, if not, you're go I'm going to get flamed, but it's alright because I've got something called Honest Cola. This has malt in it, so hopefully that this will end up like a, you know, sourdough bread, I guess. We'll see what happens. So why am I filming from the bathroom? Um, it's because my kitchen is absolutely a mess right now. Isolation has really taken its toll on me, so let me go clean that in a second. So that bag of flour that I showed you was actually 500 grams of flour. So I'm just going to see what I can make out of this real quickly. Okay, so that's probably enough to start off with. We can always add more flour, but we can't take out. I think that's how it works. Um, oh, 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 no, 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 no. Okay. Okay. Well, I've never actually tasted kombucha before, or if I have, I wasn't really that memorable. So this is apple and pear, as you can see from there. But I'm gonna give this a taste and see how it goes. That tastes like alcohol, but without the buzz. So it is pretty not as nice as I thought it would be. But I can see the resemblance to beer. So beer is always yeasty. So let's add this in and see if we get the same effects. So I'm just gonna add, um, all of it yeah um, I'm gonna add all of it 
because I think that'll be our liquid as well. So we've got that there. And then I'm gonna add our Coca-Cola. I'm sorry, I meant Charlie's Honest Cola. Um, uh, I'll give I'll give this a taste too. Mmm, tastes malty. But I'm gonna add that in as well. So I don't know how much of this I'm gonna add in. Probably add this much in. My trusty spoon here. So I'm gonna start mixing this together. Hopefully we can make some sort of dough out of it. Because normally he would just add this straight to a dough mixer. But sadly we don't have a dough mixer. So it's just gonna be straight mixing. Oh, I can really feel this firming up already. Oh, it's starting to look all right, I guess. So we're starting to get there, getting the consistency that we need. See, this has not gone to plan. Um, I just put some Ajax spray and wipe on there because I tried putting the dough onto the freaking surface. Uh, but this is the dough right now after kneading and everything like that. Um, I'm going to let that sit there for like the next five days. I don't know how long I'm going to let that sit there. But my goodness, that looks not appetizing at all. But we'll carry on like a soldier that we are. So I kind of had a breakthrough right now. I added more flour and I added the rest of the cola. And I think that the mixture is actually coming along properly now. Look at that. It's proper doughy like mixture. It's not as sticky anymore. So that's kind of a good sign, I think, because I caused a hell of a mess in my kitchen. So, oh man, okay. I'm going to keep mixing this and we'll see what happens along the way. Right, so this is what it looks like now. I added a lot more flour, but now we got the actual consistency of what bread should feel like. So, now you're going to ask me how I'm going to bake this. I'm going to be honest with you guys, uh, I don't have an oven. So, you know how we're going to cook this? That's right. We're going to deep fry these bad boys. So, watch this. Okay, this is all smoking now. I'm going to just film it and show you guys what happens next. So, this is a little ball of dough. I'm going to be putting that in and see what happens. Okay. Looks good so far. This is what the first one looked like. Um, I had to crush squash it down because it wasn't being cooked right. I still think it's kind of raw inside. Um, I'll try that out a bit, but next one I'm going to make is going to be a little bit smaller. This one's even smaller. And I'm starting to think that I have to make it a lot smaller because these literally take 30 seconds to cook and I don't think a dough that big can cook in that amount of time. So I think these are very raw on the inside. So I'm gonna make it even smaller and see what happens. We got the last one they're frying, but honestly, this doesn't look as bad as I thought it would be. It's actually, some parts are actually really crispy. I haven't actually seen the inside of the ones at the bottom because I think the bottom ones are gonna probably be the craziest. But other than that, this actually might be something good. So here we have it guys. Um, this is all the bread now. Um, I've let it rest for a bit, and I'm going to break it in half, and I'm going to show you what it looks like on the inside. Um, as you expect, expect from the first one, the first ones ended up as just dough. <laughs> um, I think that's kind of inedible. Um, yeah, that's 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 just dough right there in the middle. Um, I'm a I actually took a bite out of it, and you can actually taste the kombucha a bit, which is insane. Uh, but that only leads to going up from here. Here's the smaller one. Um, I'm surprised that it is actually still quite doughy. So I'm kind of saddened about that too. So that's inedible as well. This is a surprise. This is a very big surprise for me, actually. Um, the last ones that I cooked up, they're actually kind of cooked. Like, it's a little bit stretchy, but like, yeah, I actually don't mind that texture at all. This is actually edible. I can actually taste the kombucha. It's actually disgusting. It's a little bit disgusting. But, yeah. What are my thoughts overall? So, I had one of them. I actually had half of one. Um, overall, yeah, this is disgusting. This is actually the worst thing probably ever that I've ever made. But still, it was a good experiment, I guess. Uh, pretty nasty. Um, like I said, it tastes just like... It has the hints of kombucha in it. And I think that, and look at this, this, <laughs> this is heavy. This is an actual heavy roll. So maybe if I deep fry this longer or find a way to fry it a lot longer. And I don't know, that oil just didn't, like, there are some parts that are cooked. And even though they're really cooked, it still tastes kind of disgusting. And, like, you expected some of it to be fluffy. Or some of you may have expected it to be fluffy. But no, the inside is, like, 
really dense and it's not really the appetizing. So these are going straight into the bin, unfortunately. Uh, some other questions I've been getting recently is, uh, Zeb, uh, what's your diet like ever since like you stopped lifting? So what has my diet been like? Well, that's enough for today. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Keep safe in lockdown. Stay inside. And remember to keep two meters away from everyone. Remember, stay safe. Uh, I really hope the best for all of you out there. We only have a few more weeks left to go. So take care. All right. Have a good one.